I'm Hugh Harris. Sometimes in life, things just go great. <laughs> well, that's not how I wanted to start this story. Believe me, I'm not one for happy stories, much less happy endings, but one time I was watching a sitcom, and it was so happy, it drove me nuts, and I just started beating the couch relentlessly with no mercy. So, how did I go from that person to happy front man? Well, in this film, you're going to learn three key things. One, how things can change. Two, what a miracle play is. And three, how I went from mouse to man. To answer those questions, first I have to tell my own story. In a second, the film will start. A film about me. Self-centered, I know. Well, let me start here by telling you that a miracle play is a play based on a saint or a martyr. Now, I'm no saint, and I hope I'm no martyr, but I like the sound of it. Hi again. The best place to start the story is from the beginning. I had a car accident. A big accident. This was the catalyst that scared me into wanting to live. At this point in my life, I was 22. I had never had a girlfriend, and all I had to show for it was a large DVD collection. After the accident, my mother cared for me. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Listen. Your father is just having a hard time with all of this. He still loves you. I know. Mom, will you give me the remote? Well, sure. This isn't as bad as it seems. It gets worse. My mother served every function as a girlfriend. Mom! I've got laundry! Mom! I'm hungry! Mom! I need a hug! Lame. No wonder I couldn't get laid. With my sexuality in serious jeopardy and my manhood waving in the wind, that started to change. <coughs> Mom! How do I use the washing machine? Okay, maybe I didn't change that much. Before I introduce you to the love of my life, let's check out how I was with girls. Put your arm around her. Just put your arm around her. You're not stupid, you can do this. Put your stupid arm around the stupid girl. Wait, she's not stupid, she's kinda hot. Shut up. Put your arm around her. One, two, three. Put your arm... Hi, I... I, um... <clears throat> um... <clears throat> would, would you, uh... I... <clears throat> um... Um, wait, right. would you, would, <clears throat> um, um, where are you, where are you from? <laughs> Which one of you cupcakes wants a taste of daddy? Oh, God, no. What caused this change, though? Two things. My brother... And a girl. First, my brother, Heath. Listen, you can't let your hopes get too high, but you can't let them get too low either. You gotta ride it in the middle. That's the way it is with these things. It's 50-50. Either a girl takes you or she doesn't. So I'm supposed to be like this cool person, right? I wanna be extreme. I wanna be like a Viking. I wanna drink my enemy's blood from their skulls. No, that's not hardcore. That's just crazy. Yeah, and I'll have a huge war boat. And it'll belch fire and flame and... No, uh, listen, when you when you go out there and you can chop down that forest by hand, 
then I'll believe you're hardcore. But the battle axes and the fire. No, no. When forest equals war boat, then you are hardcore. So basically, your cool person is like your typical ladies man, right? Yeah, but you don't want to be cocky. And you don't want to fix all of her problems either. That's the last thing you want. That No, that, that's not what you're there for. <sighs> you just gotta trust those men stinks that God gave you. That's what they're for. But I'm worried. I mean, I don't know the first thing about kissing a girl. Hmm. I mean, what if I wait for the right moment? And then when the right moment comes, I go in and I, I mess it up. I'm worried I'll make a stupid face or just mess it up completely because I don't know anything about girls. No, no, that's not going to happen. You just got to stay calm and stay relaxed. If you're relaxed and everything feels right, how can it be awkward? I mean, you're either comfortable or you're not. It's one or the other. So, act cool, stay cool, and be cool. Yeah, just stay calm, relax, be yourself, and, you know, talk to her. Be funny. You're really good at being funny. Just be yourself. So, time passed. I met a girl I could practice my skills on. That girl was Emma Lewis. What can I tell you about Emma? She might be the perfect girl, for me anyway. I didn't know that when I first met her. I did want to touch her no-no places, though. <laughs> and that was enough to keep me interested. Now, this is the first day we met. I'm showing her some short films I've made. Have a look. Bam, you're dead. Every day. Not exactly art, but better than a knife to the face. This is the first time that a girl turns to me and actually tells me the truth. I'm sorry these movies suck. No, I think you're talented. See, I believe her. Why, I have no clue. But I'm having fun with a girl for the first time and not having to pay. So, you like movies? Yeah. I like The Breakfast Club and old movies and serial killer movies. I like how smart they are. Really? It's cool. What's the last movie you saw? Um, I saw Bruce Almighty with my sister. That movie surprised me. Really? Why? Well, I went in expecting it to suck, and when I got in there, there was this really funny movie. So what's your family like? Well, I don't know. I have a mother and a father and a brother and some cousins and stuff. I've got some crazy cousins. Really? Yeah, they're all like 16 and married with kids. That's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, I think it's crazy the way people just get married without even knowing each other. Like, why don't you and I run away to Vegas right now and get married? You give me a date of fact? She was great. I'd only known her for a few hours and she'd already proposed to me. What a psycho. She was funny. She hated the same things I hated, which was all I ever really asked for. This is three days later. I had called and she came back. I hadn't expected that much, but she was sweet. Now, to give credit where credit is due, my roommate told me to say this. You have beautiful eyes. I do not. Yes, you do. Let me see. You're shaking. I'm sorry. That was my first step into the real world of other people. I found somebody. We liked each other and we made out. I wasn't allowed to touch her no-no. I had to tell yeah, everybody. So that included he. I knew you could do it. Yeah, she is really great. And see, Vikings don't do that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. All I gotta do is keep it up now. What if she gets sick of me? She won't. Just mix it up. One night, go to dinner and a movie. Next night, go to an art gallery or something. Okay, I got you. You know, just keep things new and fresh and you can't go wrong. After we started dating, I had to show her off. This is not bid well for me and my mother. Her little baby had turned into the son that doesn't come home anymore. This is the first trip home. The very uncomfortable trip home. 
Where do you work? I work at the S Mart. What do you do? I put stuff on shelves and order things for my department. She, she's a manager. Oh! Does it pay good? A little better than minimum wage. How long have you worked there? I'm gonna get something to drink. Do y'all want anything? No? No? Alright. Now, you're probably wondering who these people are. This is my brother Heath, and this is my sister-in-law Mallory. Mallory needs some explanation. Hey, Mal. Hey, we're making coffee. Great. Hey, bro. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I really like your girlfriend. Really? Yeah, me and Mallory both like her. We get a good vibe from her. Really? Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks. Now, my brother and me were great friends. Note the were. We bonded like most brothers. Hey man, you wanna go see a movie? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, let's go. Alright. Merry Christmas, man. Hey man, thanks, it's great. I get it now. Iron Maiden is God, and Eddie is Satan. Ooh. Okay, so I'll withdraw that statement. Iron Maiden is so badass they have a demon as their mascot. I don't know who the devil is. Marilyn Manson is probably the Antichrist and Elvis is probably Jesus, which is strange because David Lynch did compare them to each other. Regardless, despite the deep bond I thought we had, this is where Mallory steps in. Mallory. What can be said about her that hasn't been said about radiation sickness? Not to attack her, but I've had a better time chewing on tinfoil. Here's a few examples of the good times I've had with Mallory. It's got to be by design. I mean, look at how Reagan handled the air controller strikes in the 80s. He was way too old to be president. That's why Clinton will fix everything. I mean, he'll probably legalize pot before he's out of office. He has that Fleetwood Mac song. They were a band of his generation. If I were going to run for president, I'd pick something from my year of birth, like God of Thunder by Kiss, or Anarchy by the Sex Pistols, or Heroes by Bowie. Yeah, that'd be good. If I were president, you know what I would do? I'd put an end to all that shit going on in the Panama Canal. Teddy Roosevelt put that on lease for a hundred years after the expansion. You gotta give us time to walk. No, I gotta get the fucking thing up. There we go. Flash you apparently to make it go on, go better. Okay, all I want is a simple answer out of you. You want turkey or ham on your sandwich? Maybe I could make more choices if I didn't get paid like a slave. That isn't even an issue here. It's just a sandwich. Do you want turkey or ham? Well, I don't mean anything by this, but what kind of ham is it? Farm's best. I hate their ham. Turkey then. No, I hate turkey. Why don't you just buy the brand that I like and we wouldn't have this problem, would we? Well, why don't you make your own damn lunch? I didn't say anything, did I? I, I can't be a mind reader. Hmm. What? I don't know. I, I think it could be your drivers. What's that? It's a little application that tells your computer how to interact with hardware. Huh? You know, like... Like a printer or a sound card. Oh. Damn it! What? I've tried the same thing like five times and it's not working. I freaking hate computers! I wish they'd never been invented. I don't know why we even bother getting one. They're no help anyway. She could be mad at a windy day. Five minutes later, Heath and Mallory got into a huge argument and had a blowout in front of the family. Mallory spent the rest of the weekend lying in bed pretending to nap. Meanwhile, back with me and Emma, things were just warming up. Oh my god. <laughs> Happy anniversary, baby. Thank you. Sit. This is our one month anniversary. I'm madly in love with this girl. We haven't committed to each other yet, but we've been acting exclusive. So do you like this? Yes.
Thank you so much. This is all so nice. You want to dip your apple in some chocolate? Why don't you do it for me? So, I guess this makes us official, huh? Yes, so. and welcome to my own personal hell. Today I came across an old chat that Emma had had with her most recent ex-boyfriend. My soul feels dead. The thing that beats it all is it, it, it doesn't add up. Okay, so she wants to be with Mr. It's so good to talk to you, then fine. Just pack your stuff and go. No. Please, look at me. Why? Do I not treat you good enough? I love you. Please, you were wonderful. Just don't make me do this. Don't, it makes me sick. Please, Hugh, I love you. Why did you talk to him? When were you two having sex? We weren't having sex. I haven't even seen him in months. I'm always with you. Please, I love you. I'm having a hard time believing you right now. Then what can I do? You won't look at me. You won't let me kiss you. Please, I love you. Just pack your stuff and you can go, okay? No, no, Hugh. I can understand why you're angry with me, but, but the only thing that I'm guilty of is hiding talking to him. We didn't do anything. How can I trust you? Listen to me, please. Just give me your hand, please. You feel that? Most people go their whole lives without feeling that. Don't give up on us. Come here. How long do I get? The rest of my life. So, where does that leave us? I grew to love Emma more than I ever had. I don't believe she did those things. I do think it was stupid. So, time passes. People change. Stuff changes, and here I am. What's really interesting is the dynamic with me, my mom, and Emma. Well, just watch. So, what do you kids want to do today? Um, baby, you want to go shopping? It's up to you. What do you think? It's up to you. Let's go shopping. Okay, I'll go get changed. Okay. Are you sure you know what you're getting into with her? Um... Yeah. But when she breaks up with you, I'm not going to run to you to pick up the pieces. Okay. Yeah, and so we drove by this church like every single day and we thought, it looks like a really nice place. We should give it a try. So. Yeah. yeah. Sure. And so we joined, and now we go every Wednesday and every Sunday, and it's great. It's, it's beautiful. How beautiful is it? It's so beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, and this decision has made us really happy. 
just really happy to do this. That's great. You know what's really funny? Babe, you should tell them the story about when you got lost. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, when you and Chuck got lost. Oh, <laughs> that story is not for right now. Why? They stopped for directions at a strip club. Well, we needed directions. <laughs> but you got directions for three hours. Oh. <laughs> well, we had the time, and well, that was like two years ago. <laughs> mom. Oh, Mom, come on, I love you. I don't think it's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> but Mom, everybody else is laughing, and that was forever ago. Come on, it's not that bad. All right, well, uh, it's time. Uh, we need to go. Mom, I love you. Come on, give me a hug. Mom. You can get your hug from one of your strippers. Mom, come on. It... Well, I'll see you soon, bro. All right, see you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. This is the face of disappointment. This is the face of hatred. This is the face of disgust. This is the face of my mother. This hurts. When your own mother rejects you because of something stupid you've done. Something stupid and fun. Hey man, we're going to be near there tomorrow. I thought maybe I'd stop by and say hi. You know, we could hang out and have dinner or something. Well, uh, gee, this is such short notice. I don't mean anything by that, but I wish you could have called like a week I ago. I just thought I'd stop by. Well, no, I don't have a problem with that. I just wish you could have called a week ago. Are you sure you're going to have time? Yeah. Um. I've got to go. I've made lunch. Okay. See you tomorrow. Um. Yeah. I never went. I went and ate at a burger joint instead. I had a bacon cheeseburger. And I missed him the whole time. I missed him. I missed him from when we got stoned together. <laughs> I missed him from eight years ago. I missed him from being a kid. I missed my brother. And he didn't miss me. I sometimes even miss myself. Hugh, honey, are you okay? Um, yeah. What's for dinner? I don't know. What do you want? Um... Uh... Ramen. Is that all you ever eat? It's good. I swear if I cut you open, you'd bleed ramen noodles. Tell you what. You should call your mother. I don't wanna. You better. You shouldn't let your problems fester. I'll let you fester. You better not. Things sometimes manage to work out despite your best efforts. My mom and I learned to understand each other a little better, but Heath and I are still having problems. I've become a good human despite all this. You can take that risk. Try to kiss that girl and tread where you're not welcome. Man to mouse, mouse to man. I thought it would take a long time for this to happen. Time flows around us like we're walking backwards through the snow. We can see where we've been. We can see what we've passed. We can see what we've changed. But now, I want to have the strength to turn around, right myself, and face my life.